Yeah. I don't know about that one and that one. All of it. I need it all. Do you want it though? Where do I begin? I see the hate, they don't wanna see me win. Bank deposits, I got more coming in. Top down, throw the money in the wind. I don't want it all. Heard these scammer, I had to switch up the accounts. Moving paper, gotta call up my account. It's all in, I can have it coming out. Let's take a let's take a minute to kind of introduce yourself to uh, you know the CFGB community. Okay, well my name is Jalen. Uh, I've been working out with Bob for about uh, two three weeks now. Um, I play basketball for the Portland Trailblazers, and uh, Bob's kind of had the plan for me the last three weeks, um, getting my body right, uh, working on some explosion and some and some mobility and some some core stability. And right now we're just trying to, you know, put it together with the food and make sure we eat right. Yeah, definitely. So today what we're, uh, we're going to be cooking is uh, we're going to make a meal. Uh, we're going to make pecan encrusted salmon. Uh, so, Jay, uh, if you don't mind grabbing that salmon, it's on that plate in there. So what, we, what we're going to do with the, uh, the reason we're picking salmon out today, because it's a, a pretty good source of protein. We know that. Uh, and another thing too is that it's anti-inflammatory. So we're looking at, you know, when we're training hard, uh, you can think of it really uh, beating ourselves up as far as all the all the training and the weight training and things like that. We work hard, and we what we don't want to do is we don't want to add to that inflammation with our diet. So we're going to pick foods out that are going to be the whole foods, uh, uh, things that grandma and grandpa ate, and uh, things like salmon is a good way to go. So that's why we got cooking here. I'm gonna put some olive oil. You wanna? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I'm a big salmon fan too. Kind of some roasted veggies here that we're gonna to add to the pan in a few minutes. It's just basically got butternut squash, some beets, uh, some carrots, and there's a couple other things, peppers and some artichoke hearts. So that was real easy to make. I just threw it in, uh, threw it in the oven after uh, for an hour and a half. I didn't have to think about it too much. Came back and it was pretty much ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take our salmon, which by itself would be pretty good in the olive oil. No, needs in really, no need to, to really do a whole lot to it. But I found that if we add a little bit of pecans uh, and a little bit of seasoning to it, it's going to be extra good. Changes so, the game. Yeah, definitely changes the game. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take some uh, pecans and we'll get uh, Jalen chopping. So... This is a little tricky because these pecans want to go everywhere. So we'll see. We'll check up on the skills and the technique here. Ah, uh, <laughs> should be fun. This is go crazy. All right, so what we're going to do next is uh, now we got the um, pistachios all chopped up, pe pecans, pistachios, the nuts. You can use uh, really any nut that you like. What we're going to do is we're going to put that on top of the uh, salmon. And just a little uh, cooking tip here. I took the uh, fish out and I just set it on a plate to let it dry because whenever it's wet, it doesn't get, uh, it doesn't cook as well. So we got uh, got the salmon ready and we're just gonna top that with the pecans. So this is really a quick, uh, quick way to kind of prepare some salmon uh, from start to finish. You really could be done in about uh, 10 minutes if you have uh, some of the things prepped in advance. Then uh, as a spice, I found that, you know, really any uh, kind of seafood uh, spice works pretty good. This is uh, seafood magic. Anything with magic in the name is good. Yeah, undefeated. All right. So uh, we got the salmon in the pan. Uh, for usually, uh, I, usually the, you know, the amount of time we want it to cook about halfway through. I, how, I don't know about you, Jalen. I don't like my salmon too overcooked because then it gets dry. Um, but we want, obviously we want it to be, uh, cooked nice and healthy and stuff like that. Uh, just a tip out there. If you are, uh, cooking your meats, uh, you know, your beef, chicken, pork, fish, uh, season side down in, uh, in the pan. So basically what you got is, uh, you take your season side, you put it down, especially whenever you're working with the salmon, uh, cause you, you know, you, you, otherwise you got the skin side down and then, uh, then you're cooking the, the top part on the part that you cook the skin. It just kind of gets backwards. So yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. This is uh cooking Jalen. What we're going to look at is, uh, we took a look at, uh, Jalen's overall lean muscle mass and we kind of came up with a prescription 
uh, for him on the number of grams of carbohydrates, protein, and uh, fat. Jalen being a competitive athlete and with his training volume, we're accounting for all of that. And we're coming up with about 230 uh, grams of protein per day. And then when we're putting together meals, we're putting together meals that are going to be combining the carbohydrates, the protein, and, uh, and the healthy fats so that he can have a good energy source to promote uh, all the training that he's doing throughout the day. Uh, we look at some uh, factors uh, that go into overall uh, success and wellness. And number one factor that uh, really can affect our performance is getting enough sleep uh, each day. So uh, I want to kind of get your thoughts on these five different factors and uh, you know you're you know just from your experience good bad or otherwise where do you, where does uh, sleep factor in for you uh, very high um, especially like if you know you have something big the next day or um, something on later in the day uh, you definitely want to get enough sleep just so you're energized to really get through it um, you know sometimes sleep can overpower you through some some other things, like if you're hungry, you know what I'm saying? As long as you got a good night's nice rest, then you still might be able to get something done. So I think sleep is yeah really high on there. I love that. Yeah, and uh, they're, they're also kind of connected too because like if you don't get a good night's sleep, then some of the other things start to fall apart for sure. Mm -hmm. The second thing I put on here is nutrition. And we've been talking a lot about nutrition. Um, like just kind of looking back on your experiences, good, bad, or otherwise, uh, what what kind of highlights can you give us as far as nutrition and where that fits in for you? Um, just in, I think it's hand-to-hand -hand with sleep. Uh, I think those two things really control your energy level. Um, just in terms of the things that you can't really, you know, control, uh, you know, sometimes you can come in there with the right mindset and you know, the hard work will carry you. But if you don't have enough sleep or you don't have enough or the right nutrition, then your body might fail you, you know, before you even get going. So... Um, I think nutrition is right up there with sleep. Um, as you can see, putting together this great meal, definitely up there with sleep. And we had a good workout today because I got my eight hours. Yeah, absolutely. The third factor I put in here, I, I, love, the, I love that background on that one, is mindset. And this is, this is a huge factor. Uh, now, mindset isn't something that we're fixed with. We're not necessarily born with a positive mindset or a fixed mindset or what growth mindset or whatever. It's something that we can work on like anything else. Um, but it, we just see like having that uh, positive growth mindset really, really takes us to another level on that. What's your thoughts on uh, mindset, Jalen? Where's that taking you? Um, that's just the, I think to even get going, you know, that's one of the original things before you even get to the sleep or the nutrition um, I think mindset is just one of those things that you, you know, you are what you, you are what you think. Um, so you, you gotta remain positive and and always push yourself. Um, and and I think part of the mindset in in that is just being the best version of you. And I think that's just a, you know, if, if you're attacking the the day every day like that with that attitude, then, then I think you're you're off to some good things. Yeah, absolutely. If you think about it, like when when you have a challenge or something coming up and uh, you could be your biggest cheerleader or your biggest enemy. 100%. You know, you go in, get into something and you're like, yeah, I don't know if I should do this. You know, and then you, you're already quitting. So you're already failed if you haven't given it a try. Mm -hmm. Factor number uh, four is uh, I put training in here as a, a big factor. Um, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not the biggest one. You know, sleep, nutrition, mindset are definitely uh, by far further along on that. Um, yet training and consistency and being able to stay on plan definitely seems to be uh, a part of success overall, especially if you if you have a sport that you're training on. Uh, any thoughts on, on that? Uh, yeah, specifically, um, if you are in a sport, I think it's just the discipline of it all. Um, you know, good things comes to those who, you know, wait one and two and remain consistent. So I think that's just one thing that, that's going to push you over the top, regardless if you're in sports or not. It's just that everybody, you know, has the, the wherewithal to start working out. You know, it's it's where you get better. It's where you push yourself. It's where, you know, you, you set those higher limits that, you know, are very key. So Yeah, absolutely. The uh, kind of built into that training is a progression. So regardless of 
your starting point, you can always improve upon your position through hard work and dedication. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes folks will, uh, they'll put a hard stop on that. You know, maybe I'm not in shape, but you know, it's going to be hard for me to get started and stuff like that. Uh, yet it, regardless of where you're starting at, you got to start somewhere. And it's really that consistency over time. That's going to make the big difference. For sure. Uh, last one I got on here is, uh, relationships. So what we're talking about here is the people in our circle. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I think the people in your circle are, you know, just important as, you know, who you who you're listening to every day. Um, well, that's the reason that it is important. Uh, who you have around you, you know, who's motivating you, who you're listening to, who you're taking advice from. Um, you want to be surrounded by people who who make you better and push you. So, I think just those relationships are are vital in in growing yourself. That you want to be around people that are going to better you and push you to those limits. I think relationships are very key. Absolutely. And I can, I think our salmon is getting really close to being done. Uh, like it. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to kind of plate this up and we're going to be enjoying it. And if we have anything we want to add to folks out there, I thank you so much for uh, checking in today. Uh, and we'll uh, post the recipes and stuff like that and stay connected. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I don't want it. Oh, heard he's scamming. I had to switch up the accounts.